Welcome, my darlings. Don't forget your headphones. If you want more wonderful waifu, be sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to wear your waifu, you can get your merch here. If you want spicy waifu, make sure you visit me here. All my links are in my link tree below. Couch with me. You can snuggle a bit. Mm, there. I love having you in my arms. Especially after such a long day. I've been brewing potions so much, I think my arms might fall off. <laughs> it's always a pain to try to deal with those dreadful fey creatures. Were they not the most convenient source of exotic ingredients, I'd strangle the fickle little things myself. <sighs> Have you ever tried wrestling a pail of cursed gold from a leprechaun? Tiny may they be, they fight like a drunkard with a death wish. Oh, but enough about myself. Have you had a good day, dear? No. What's the matter, darling? You're... concerned about your appearance? But my dear, you're the most beautiful creature in the world. You don't think so? But dear, where have these thoughts been coming from? You've been envious of the humans that sometimes stray too close to the cottage? And... And of me? Deary, I... I just simply don't see how. You're breathtaking as is. Darling, you mustn't compare yourself to me nor any other human. We are different. You are a gorgeous, alabaster-skinned creature of the night, and I'm just a simple human. I can't count the amount of times I wished I could have eyes as piercing as yours, or teeth as pointy. But I still remain myself, and that's alright. There's nothing wrong with being you. You shouldn't try to change yourself to fit into standards that don't apply to you. Tell me, what specifically do you dislike about yourself? That no matter what you do, you cannot perfectly mimic a human? That you'll always be... different? Imperfect? My sweet... Your imperfections are what make you perfect. There is nothing more alluring than your twisted bones, those wide midnight black eyes, your smile and how warped it looks. So what if they flee at the sight of you? Humans run because they're scared of what doesn't conform. But I love your nonconformity. Of course, I wouldn't be happier with a human, even a witch like me. If I wanted a dull maiden from a rich family, I'd have abducted them years ago. But you're... different, in the best possible way. You make me happy in ways no other could. And that's why I'm here cuddling with you instead of anyone else. One moment, dearie. Let me retrieve something. Here. In any ordinary mirror or reflective surface, 
you might appear as nothing more than a sliver of a shadow. But I don't care for ordinary mirrors. This mirror is enchanted to show a reflected creature's true nature. Vampires, ghosts, shapeshifters, nothing escapes its glare. It was a tricky enchantment to create. The consecrated silver alone must have taken me six years to acquire. It matters not. What matters right now is you. Take a look inside. Tell me what you see. Tell me about every flaw you think is present. Your hair is too thin. You want your bones to be symmetrical and consistent? And your face to be round, less angular? I suppose I could do that for you. How did I do that? Simply a glamour, my dear. It's an impermanent illusion. A trick of the light. But it's what you wanted, hmm? So now, when you look into that mirror, what do you see? You? Or someone else? Someone... artificial? It seems wrong, doesn't it? Humans call it the uncanny valley, where you see something wrong with a face, but you can't quite place your finger on it. I've turned your face into a kind of derivative of itself, something inherently unnatural. And when I snap my fingers, you return to normal. You suddenly look right. You don't see any more flaws, or at least they don't gnaw at you like before, do they? I gave you a new perspective on yourself, dear. And now you can truly recognize how beautiful you are. Now, let's move past all that self-loathing and let's get back to cuddling i'm still exhausted <laughs>